And we got Rob versus Game and Watch. Now that zoning game that Dingus was playing earlier, man, if he, I don't know how easy that would do, be to do versus Rob, but never mind, he doesn't need that. He's got this 49% on the board right here. Nice and clean, and now he can force Rob to come to him. Yeah, especially at these early percents. Game Watch is just so good at racking up damage on these big floaty characters. Fast followers might be able to get out of it sometimes, but floaty characters, they just combo food. Right. And Wadi used that gyro to cover himself so he could come down with an air. Pretty smart on it on that, because yeah, the tangible up smash like we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Playing really respectful right now. And nice by Dingus using the up air to stall him out from that yes. air just a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's really intelligent. And that, once again, that, that uh, up smash. Oh, and here's an up air. You two would have died, man. That's why we see Rob on the screen. True, yeah. And now Rob has a lot of rage. Um, all it could take is one down throw in like maybe 10, 20%. But the way that Dingus is playing right now, it's really hard for any grab to get um, like happening right now. Yeah, he can't really seem to get anything on the board right now and almost took a trade for that Nair to up smash. He definitely would have died. Yeah, up smash is no joke. Not at all. How's Wadi going to get on the stage? Dodging that. Wow. Oh, yeah, that, that Nair covered him okay, got him back on the stage a little bit safely. No punish on that down air. Now the gyro's in hand. He just chucks it at him, though. Does Ding Oh, okay, I thought Dingus had the gyro for a second. <laughs> the flash made it really hard to see. Yeah. Oh, wow, going down the gyro and just immediately getting the grab, but Dingus too high percent, or Rob too high percent. He's going to knock too far away, and yeah, Game Watch able to get out of the situation. Yeah, but now Wadi's starting to answer back big. You can't really let him live for too long because yeah, once that rage is going. Right. He needs to take the stock right off the board now. You want to hold that lead. I think it's starting to approach a little bit too much. You saw that whiffed up smash. You got to be careful. Ugh. Yeah, I think he knows, like what you were saying, he has to get the stock off. Right. But it's like you uh, it's like you got to take the stock, but at the same time, you don't want to eat a bunch of percent mm -hmm. when you're in the lead like that. When, you're not, when you don't have to approach, you almost just don't want to. Yeah, and you're playing straight into Wadi's hands right now. Now yeah. the lead is in Wadi's favor. And one up throw actually will definitely do it. Absolutely. Oh, oh good. That was down tilt, I believe. Yeah. And just knocked Wadi so far away. Getting himself back on the stage. And then Wadi answers back with that bear, knocks him the other way. Woo! Wow. Oh, I like that. That was so, so smart. Hold he... all this frame advantage. Oh, yeah. my God. That smash is still safe, but all that work undone. Yeah, Wadi just immediately comes in and gets the up air. I mean, he just knows so well when people want to jump and where they're going to wind up being. But Dingus, man, he, he put so much shield pressure on the Wadi and caught him with that down smash in the end. I really like that first stock. Yeah, and I noticed how Dingus like hung his head while he was um, like flying away there. Right. I feel like he did his work in that stock. Like yeah, Wadi yeah. was starting to pull it back, but you managed to get first blood, and you still have a bit of a lead here. This is something to be really proud of, exactly. especially like if you keep this positioning. But he, he keeps doing approaching, and I mean, he's not really taking any hits yet, but that's how his lead dwindled away the last stock, so he really needs to be careful approaching Wadi when he doesn't have to. Oh, no, he wanted the gyro too much. Yeah, that was a bait. And now yeah. Wadi's going to get a read on that. And uh, Dingus shows air dodging quite a bit. Might be signs of a little bit of nerves. Yeah. If he can give his feet back on the ground, though, I feel like he can be good again. Right. He's not too far off, you know, from bringing this back. We saw how well he was playing earlier. Another quick combo, maybe. But he's just oh, having so much trouble getting in. Good dash attack. Nice spacing by both players. Wadi just getting better on exchange just a little bit. And wow, that was still intangible through the laser, too. And is this Ooh. it? It might be true. By the tip of his oh. hands. And Wadi's going to take that game one off of real nail biter. Yeah, that nail was just, you know, unfortunate. Because Dingus Joe definitely had that, but he just kept running into Wadi and trying to get it, uh, percent. He was up by like 60% on Wadi in the beginning. And just he couldn't let it go. He wanted to take the stock off of him, which, you know, I understand. You don't want to let it get away from you or let Rob have rage. But man. It, w it wasn't worth. Yeah, it wasn't worth. And another thing is that, like, Game Watch is one of those characters with that Melee Marth syndrome where if he doesn't kill you at his terms, it's, like, at his terms below, like, 100 or, right. like, 110 or so. <laughs> it's really hard for him to get a kill after that unless he just reads you raw. Man. And it's, like, forcing Wadi to approach with his Rob is so good, too, because he makes some mistakes at times, and I'm sure Dingus would have been able to capitalize. But maybe this time around he'll see his mistakes and uh, fix it up. Nice. All and that right. makes up early. And oh! again, okay. We're not done. Oh, we're done. Yeah, we out, we out, we out. <laughs> okay. Pull me once, shame on me. <laughs> Pull me twice. Hold this nair. Hold this nair. All right, well, now, all right, what do you need? All right, he's back, got back on the ground, and Dingus, can he absorb that gyro? I don't think nah, so. Nah, nah. He'll eat us straight to the face. Yeah, I think he was expecting a laser. Wadi does love to do gyro laser, so I feel that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, if he gets the fully charged laser, like, maybe three times, I feel like, I don't know the exact percent, but, like, my ballpark estimate, Wadi would probably die around, like, anywhere from 40 to 60. Yeah, I think even, like, 35, potentially, if he's at, like, the ledge. Yeah. So I can understand why you would want to go for that, but I don't think Wadi's going to give it to him at all. No. And now this is just getting away. Like, at first, Wadi was playing really aggressive, and then Ding has punched him with those three, you know, the re-grab situation, but that's, like, pretty much all he's been able to get out of this. Yeah, he's just not getting much each time he gets in. Now that's something. A very nice grab. Oh, right, yeah, nice Some good damage. Ooh, and the falling back air to catch him. How's he going to edge guard Wadi, though? Ooh, I'm glad he didn't try to go out there. Yeah, that would have been really bad. Yes. Wadi's stuck at the ledge right now. Almost got the grab on him. Ooh, nice tomahawk. And what do we got? We got two twos. Okay. And, wow. Yeah, he had a lot of. Game Watch has a bit of rage on him. Able to get the kill. Oh, no, he got grabbed. Okay, nice air dodge. No tech, though. <laughs> Wadi tried to up. read the back roll. Yeah, and he almost had the read, too. Like, he knew a roll was coming. But yeah, that's not the right direction. Yeah. Okay, Dingus right now, he's, he's really picking up a lot of damage on Wadi and not letting him get the stage positioning that he wants. This is the cleanest we've seen him look, man, versus Wadi in I don't know how many tournaments. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with how he's playing right now. Yeah, Wadi with the forward throw? Oh, Ooh, with the sniper. snipe, too. Still alive, though. And Dingus Joe weaving through the gauntlet yes. of everything and finding his way playing at center stage. And still, I mean, Wadi's swinging, you know, really hard, and Dingus Joe is just passing every single thing that he throws at him. Yeah, I'm actually amazed at how well he's uh, surviving right now. 162, really good for, like, the second or third last character in the game. Like, yes. Yeah, kudos 162. to 162, especially living against, you know, Wadi, who's Rob is, like, always getting kills at, like, 50, 70 percent. But there's no platforms here, so maybe that's what really helped him out. Yeah. He has to play this on the ground, honest. And right now, Dings Joe is looking like one of the most honest people out there. He's still making his happen. But wow, the great equalizer in the gyro managing to extend that combo just a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, and, and he's now, not done. Yeah, this is getting out of hand. The lead's already in Wadi's favor, and that no! bad DI. I was going to say, don't wait. Wow. Yeah. You can't like, give him that. 